<laughs> Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No, no, no. That's literally me. I do this all the time. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen Smith. If you're already subscribed, thank you. And if you're not, please subscribe for more cooking videos. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a turkey. I have a really great recipe that keeps the turkey moist and delicious. It's great flavors and it's not hard to make. Let's get right into it. The ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe are one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of poultry seasoning, one and a half teaspoons of dried thyme, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, and one and a half teaspoons of garlic. You can use powdered garlic if you have it. You're going to need a mixing bowl to mix all of your dry ingredients. You're also going to need a quarter cup of olive oil to start. You may need a little bit more as you go. Remove the neck and the giblets. The neck and the giblets. Giblets. I should do a bloopers video. <laughs> Neck and the giblets. Giblets, what the heck? <laughs> I can't say giblets. The first thing you're gonna do with your turkey, you're gonna remove the neck and the giblets from both sides, and then you're going to rinse it. I already did this. You're gonna rinse out the turkey all around inside as well, and then pat it dry with paper towels. Yuck. <laughs> Take the turkey, and there's going to be some extra fat and skin. Don't cut too much off, but you're gonna cut some of it off. On the other side, near the legs, there's going to also be some extra fat that you can cut off. But don't cut off the skin. The dry ingredients that you mix together, you're going to rub it on top and inside the skin. So right now, there's not really much room inside of it, but you're going to make the room with your hands to get inside these pockets. This is where all the flavor is going to get in your turkey. You basically just have to massage it until you can get your hands through. Do that also on the legs. Get underneath the skin a little bit. As much as you can get under the skin, do it without ripping holes in the skin. Also, you want to flip the turkey and do it on the other side as well. I feel like I'm delivering a baby here. <laughs> If you've never made a turkey, I know it's very strange the first time, but you just gotta go all in, basically. Like, that's what I'm doing here. It's slimy. It is slimy. It's very slimy. It's like dipping your hand in jello. That's what it feels like. Although I never dipped my hand in jello, but. So you're gonna have your dry ingredients, you're gonna mix all of them in the bowl. Take the olive oil, like I said, you're gonna start with a quarter cup, you're gonna pour it on, you gotta rub it on the inside and the outside. Take the garlic, put it on the inside of the skin. So the reason I'm putting the garlic on the inside of the skin is because since it's minced garlic, there's a chance that it could burn if it's on the outside of the skin, and you don't want that. Like I said, we're starting with a quarter cup. I didn't even use the whole quarter cup. You're just gonna kind of judge it by how much you need for the size of your turkey. You're gonna rub the dry ingredients all over the top of the turkey and inside just the same way as you did with everything else. And I'm not even a big turkey fan, to be honest with you, but once I had this turkey, I was like, I think I like turkey. Once this bad boy is seasoned up everywhere, you're going to put it on your pan. I have a broiling pan that came with the oven, so it has the rack. If you have a better pan that's deeper, that's good as well. I'll show you another type of pan in one second. I just gotta wash my hands. Always keep your hands clean when you're dealing with raw meat. That's very important. If you don't own a turkey pan, you can buy one of these at the store and this will work just as well. This is not necessary, but if you do have kitchen twine, you should tie up the legs. You are going to wrap this up and leave it in the refrigerator overnight, let this marinate, and then the next day you're going to bake it. Oh my God. I always hated saran wrap as a kid because I, I thought it had to be perfectly straight and it would make me go crazy because this, like I hate this, <sighs> bothers me. Now that it's in the fridge, we wait 24 hours. Which way is 24? <laughs> Either way, you know what I mean. Nope, I hate this. <laughs> Let it sit approximately 24. I will catch you. <laughs> because something tomorrow I come back. Now that it's in the refrigerator, just let it sit for approximately 24 hours or overnight, and we'll be back tomorrow. I don't know how to do this, but I'm gonna try. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's the next day, and the turkey has been sitting in the refrigerator. What you're gonna do next is preheat your oven to 275, 
and you're going to bake it in the oven for one hour. You're gonna keep the saran wrap on your baking pan. Just make sure you tuck it tightly under so there's not any loose edges hanging. I actually switched out the saran wrap. This is fresh saran wrap so that there was no moisture from the turkey juices from overnight. Then you just wrap it with foil on top of the saran wrap. Make sure that all of the edges are tucked nice and tight so that the moisture stays trapped while you're baking it. The first time I heard of putting saran wrap in the oven, I was a little alarmed. So I know if you're watching this, you may be alarmed. It's gonna be okay. It's not gonna melt because you're covering it with the foil. It's protecting it. Everything will be fine. It's gonna turn out delicious and moist. Let's put it in the oven. The turkey has been in the oven for an hour. Now, for the rest of the time, you're going to uncover the turkey. Oh, that looks good. You gotta peel this off carefully, not to burn yourself. Oh, see all that moisture? That's good, that it was trapped in there. This is what's gonna make it be juicy. For the remaining time that you're going to bake this, you need to have it in the oven for 325. In the description, I'm going to put some baking times for you based off of how big your turkey is. Make sure you cook it to an internal temperature of 165 degrees, then your turkey will be done. Okay, so the turkey's done, it's out of the oven. I made sure the internal temperature was at 165 in the breast. This actually baked a little faster than I thought it was, so just keep your eye on your turkey, but don't continue to open the door. Turn the light on and check it. I had to cover this with foil towards the end of it baking so that it didn't burn the whole top. Keep that in mind when you're baking it. I'm gonna cut this up and try it. Mm. It's moist, just like I wanted. <laughs> One last reminder, if you end up having to cover your turkey in the oven before it's finished so it doesn't brown on the top, do not cover it tightly with tin foil. Keep it just loosely on top so that the air gets in. The turkey is delicious. If you guys make this, send me pictures. I would love to see your photos of it. Also, keep your eye out for the Thanksgiving playlist to get more Thanksgiving recipes. I love you, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That was fake, but was it good? <laughs> okay.